Welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we will talk about viral hemorrhagic fever. Viral hemorrhagic fevers represent a group of systemic febrile illnesses caused by groups of viruses. Symptoms of viral hemorrhagic fever vary, but sometimes involve bleeding or hemorrhages, hence the name hemorrhagic fever. The symptoms range from coagulopathies, hemodynamic instability, altered mental status, and if severe enough, death. The degree of clinical illnesses can vary, with some viruses causing mild illnesses, while others can be life-threatening. Most of the viruses implicated in these diseases require vectors for transmissions to humans, often anthropods, especially mosquitoes. Sometimes the infection may be spread from person to person through direct contact with infected patients, especially their blood and body fluids. Animal reservoirs are generally rodents, but monkeys and bats may also serve as intermediate hosts. Given their zoonotic nature, these diseases are generally confined to the endemic areas where their hosts live. Viruses implicated in viral hemorrhagic fevers and the diseases they cause are grouped by four families of viruses Arena viride family, Bunya viride family, Philo viride family, and Flavi viride family. Examples of viruses in the Arena viride include Lassa virus, which causes Lassa fever found in Africa and transmitted by rodents, and Sabia virus, which causes Brazilian hemorrhagic fever found in South America and transmitted by rodents. Examples of viruses in the Bunya viride family include Nairo virus, which causes Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. It is found in Europe, Asia, Africa and is transmitted by tick. And Flebo virus, which causes Rift Valley fever, transmitted by mosquito and found in Africa. The Philo viride family include the Philo virus, which causes Ebola and Marburg and are transmitted by the foot bat in Africa. The Flavi viride family include the Flavi virus, which causes yellow fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. Both are transmitted by mosquitoes. Yellow fever is found in tropical Africa and South America. White dengue hemorrhagic fever is found in Asia, Americas, and Africa. Infections generally occur over contact with rodent urine or droppings. Some viruses can also cause human-to-human -human and nosocomial infections. Lassa virus spreads efficiently, mostly through direct contact with multimamate rats, or when rodents are captured for consumption. It has caused outbreaks in West Africa, with cases fatality rates as high as 50%. Bunya viruses are generally transmitted via anthropods and rodents. Philo viruses have been detected in bats in Africa. Once humans are infected, there is a risk of person-to-person -person spread, especially in those caring for infected patients. There have been several Ebola outbreaks in the Democratic Republic of Congo with case fatality rates as high as 90%. Fatality rates for Marburg hemorrhagic fever are so high in low-income countries. Flavi viruses can cause a range of different diseases and can be transmitted by anthropods. Dengue virus, a flavi virus, is transmitted by Hades mosquito. This disease is endemic in over 100 countries and can be found in Africa, the Americas, Asia, Australia, Europe, and the Pacific Islands. Dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome is associated with high mortality rates. Pathogens implicated in viral hemorrhagic fevers are able to multiply within macrophages and dendritic cells of the immune system. The infected cells are then triggered to release cytokines and chemokines which cause increased vascular permeability and a procoagulant state leading to increased risk of hemorrhage. These viruses can also trigger mechanisms resulting in disseminated intravascular coagulation. Patients can present with non-specific symptoms including fevers, headaches, and malaise. Clinical features that are considered common for viral hemorrhagic fevers include retrohobital pain, joint pains, redness of the eye, abdominal pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Patients may also complain of bleeding gums or epistaxis. The clinical evaluation for viral hemorrhagic fever include complete blood count with differential, coagulation studies, liver function tests, as well as evaluation for bacterial infections with urinalysis, urine culture, chest x-ray, and blood cultures. Serological testing for virus-specific immunoglobulins can be helpful to detect the virus, although it's not as sensitive or specific as molecular-based testing. Molecular-based testing include reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction and viral isolation via cell culture. Appropriate management of individuals suspected to have viral hemorrhagic fever include early diagnosis to both increase chance of survival and prevent spread. Patients with symptoms or travel history suggestive of these diseases should be isolated and all staff caring for suspected persons should wear appropriate personal protective equipment. The treatment approach for VHF is focused on supportive care symptom management and in some cases antiviral medications. 
Supportive care is crucial and involves maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance and providing oxygen therapy. Intensive care may be required to manage complications such as organ failure. Controlling symptoms is a key aspect of viral hemorrhagic fever treatment and algesics, antipyretics, and antiemetic medications are commonly used to alleviate discomfort, reduce fever, and manage nausea. Specific antiviral therapies may be employed depending on the causative virus. For example, ribavirin has been used to treat certain viral hemorrhagic fevers like Lassa fever and Crimea and Congo hemorrhagic fever. However, the effectiveness of antiviral drugs can vary and their use may be limited by factors such as the specific viral strain and the stage of the disease. Given the highly contagious nature of some viral hemorrhagic fevers, strict infection control measures are paramount such as isolation precautions, barrier nursing, proper disposal of medical waste and deployment of vaccines where possible. Bye. <laughs>